there's no place to escape to. This is the last stray. On the left. <laughs> That's when the cannibalism started. What was that? I like God of War. That's a good game. That's, That's a, good a good game. game. What I like about a video game is when it's a good game. It's a good game. I don't want it to be a bad game. I don't like bad games. What's up, everyone? How are you? Welcome to the stream. If it's Tuesday, um, all right. Well, we got. If it's Tuesday, you, you, you gotta finish. You gotta finish the thought. If it's Tuesday, if it's Tuesday no, I, I, it was. It was a question. If, if, if it's Tuesday, <laughs> it was a question. It is Tuesday. Had, yeah, I don't like the bad games. <laughs> no, uh, Henry's. We were just talking. Henry beat God of War the story mode, and that's really impressive. Henry, good job. You get a sticker. <laughs> I got a trophy. They gave me a trophy in the game. You get a trophy. <laughs> You're the God of War now. I am. You I am are. not you. Not you. No, I, I am not. I didn't. I didn't. Bit, I didn't win that game. I found I the, did. the mythology to be a little bit too much for me. That's the coolest part of the game. Yeah. I don't know. I uh, I didn't. I for some reason I, that game fell off on me with the uh, with the puzzle stuff. I like uh, the puzzles, I, but sometimes you're in the middle of a puzzle and you're like, why why am I here? I like and puzzles. I just and fighting. I like the axes and I like the fighting and I like the, the, all the mechanisms were fun and I like killing the ravens. That's what I like. I like guns. I like cleaving. I like cleaving, cleaving and stabbing and stabbing. Different strokes, right, Marcus? Oh, yeah, I like it as hard as you could fucking make it. Give me Sekiro. Oh, oh, oh. Give me the hardest game and where oh. I'm just sitting there and I'm playing and I'm so frustrated, but I'm keeping it all inside. And then when, it fi when you finally beat the bots, when you finally beat Ginichiro, then you have a feeling that is close to an, or close to an orgasm, but yeah. not quite there. You actually yeah. accidentally set up the first video I wanted to play amazingly. Um, <laughs> So I guess we could just do that. We have about eleven videos, so we gotta we gotta do a little bit of chatting. Okay. I, you know, know what? That's what we do. That's what we do. So it's really difficult. I will say what's nice is my therapist said she she gave me I think it's a compliment. She said some clients I have to say to speak more, but you, I never have to ask you to do that. Isn't that nice? I don't know if that is a compliment. I feel like that's exhausting for them. She's got to deal with it. Yeah, that's her job. That's her job. They took her jabs. Um, well, the first video, you know boners, Marcus? Uh, well aware. Yeah. Everyone has boners, but sometimes. Some people, people don't. Some people don't. Not everyone. Some people <laughs> get boners. Um, but sometimes you get a boner, and then you have a premature ejaculation. Mm -hmm. Now, this mm -hmm. actually affects millions of men. Yep. And this next video, you would Pretty think. More often than not, sometimes it's nice to just get one out of the way. No, Henry, it's not more often than not. Again, these are people that tell you those things that are lies. No, I'm sense. saying something for me. It's nice to just get one out, get a hurried one out, reset, uh -huh. re-get it. Set it and forget it. Um, anywho, so this, like, you would think that they were trying to cure cancer with the amount of technology that goes into this premature ejaculation technology. Uh, but this is how powerful the boner is. And apparently scientists have a, a large problem with pr premature ejaculation. So I don't know how many more times I can say the words premature ejaculation, um, but I will say it a few more times. So let's watch this video, and I think we'll learn. I think it's here. nice when people are early. I, well, yes, it is. It can be, but sometimes the, the lady is sad. Yep. But she should feel happy about herself. Premature she ejaculation is the most common form of male sexual sad dysfunction. This guy is. He is sad. He ruined their fucking anniversary. It occurs within about one minute of penetration and yep. results in distress and Look frustration for and both like partners. A, that's bad. Uh, Affecting 25% like of adult men, it well, is it estimated 5%. that almost 80 so million men in the US and EU suffer from premature ejaculation. I mean, every man has prematurely ejaculated at least once. Seeking a medical yeah. solution. Well, here we go. The well, what's the medical Climax solution? Control market size oh, is it graphs? Honestly, thinking of these graphs <laughs> will make me stop coming. Yeah. You want to think about baseball, they say, but that just leads to a strange fetish. The thing about baseball is that even you so, disembody the butts. It goes on the tank. The carries an electronic module which delivers See? transcutaneous electrical stimulation to the adjacent <laughs> nerves and muscles. Whoa, that's As a big the stimulation dick. Inhibits Whoa, the is that so that he puts it right on the fucking gooch? Yeah. 
The patch is oh, it's got an app. By a mobile app. <laughs> this is the most complex way. Whoa, what does it even do? It makes your ding dong like not want to come. And easily conforms to local anatomy. It can be applied. Oh, well, hold on, you gotta watch this part. Yeah, it's better than fucking sexual spontaneity. International anatomy. Here we go. The user begins by okay, those are the, the balls. You gotta shave it. Right. Oh, you gotta shave it? Trimming the perineum? Do you know how like, difficult that is? <laughs> you can't oh do my it. god! Do you need to put it right up against the back of the fucking balls? <laughs> I can do it. I could shave my perineum easier than I could shave my balls. Can you fucking imagine? It's so much Can you imagine if you fucking. Oh my god, the patch is deactivated after you come. This is all making. Promises they don't know how to keep. And then it dated. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not putting my shit on the fucking clock. I'm not putting how hard I come and how fast I can come. Why don't we have a gear for cancer yet? That's all I know. Specific to local anatomy and you. This is called the blackmail patch. <laughs> this is just a. This is just to see. You download the app onto your phone, and then it's gonna fucking save to fuck. It's gonna share to Twitter or to Facebook or some shit. So oh, you like, well, no, you know that it's gonna have a share to Facebook fucking function on it. That it's gonna oh, absolutely. And like click it. Yeah, I was like, I was, I was with my wife for seven minutes yesterday, and it'll be like, you get all the likes, you get all the hearts, and you get comments being like, you go, Billy Joe, and then you'd be like, hell yeah. No, not everything has to be recorded on an app. I feel very uncomfortable with this, and again. There's so many real issues out there. I don't know if people need that much. I don't know if we need to invest that much time on pre-ejaculation. Well, I've done a little bit of research on Virility Medical, mm -hmm. and it turns out this product is not for sale just yet. All oh. of this is trying to get investors. There's oh. a guy, there's one, there's one man in Israel with a big idea, and the whole website yeah. is trying to convince people, like, there is a need for this, there is yep. a market for this, yeah, and I mean... if you invest in Virility Medical, <laughs> then we will achieve our dream together. Oh. Oh, nothing will. Fucking, invest. I nothing inspires me more than the idea of spending I'm gonna probably do this on a Sunday. Me yeah. struggling to shave my fucking gooch, and then I apply an electric collar <laughs> to the base <laughs> of my testicles. Yeah. To I imagine I I wonder if it just goes like zip it, zip it, zip. like it just zaps you. What if it's just the voice of your mother? What if you just hear your mom be like, Henry Thomas? Henry Dude, Thomas, you can last disgusting. longer than that. Come on, Henry can you Thomas. Imagine, can you imagine hearing that? Oh, God, Henry Thomas, you could, oh, you could make love for another minute, can't you? <laughs> just you hear fucking Banked. Can you imagine Banks' voice coming out from underneath my your dad. balls? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't just, just, just the disappointment in his only straight son. If he finds out I'm a premature ejaculator, it's all over. Do you He'll think be like, I never had a son, did I? Do you think <laughs> that your father would be more proud if he could be coming out of the base of the balls of your brother if he lasted longer with a fucking power bottom attached to his front versus you with just, you know, just some normal woman? Uh, well, I'm not sure. I mean, my brother, my older brother's a power bottom. I'm pretty sure my younger, my middle brother, I'm the youngest. I, I think he's the, I, I don't actually know. But they can sw they switch up. Doing? I think they might switch up, but I'm pretty sure my eldest is, is a straight up, he's, he's the horse. But I'm he's saying, not, he's yeah. spoken, he, I've heard him speak about it at length. Yeah. yeah oh yeah, no, he, he bucks. He bucks. Yeah, he does like the, <laughs> like, he goes, he goes nuts. And they were like, hold on. Eight seconds. <laughs> That's the premature ejaculation. That's actually timely when you when you got a guy bucking. To, you gotta you gotta get in there and get out. You see, you say this, but I think the guy who's bucking is hoping that you're gonna hang out for at least four minutes. Four minutes is really how long does it take to come? In Fort Lauderdale, Florida, oh, at least an hour and a half. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, first of all, you got to talk about the weather, then you got to talk about. I hear the Mets are in training season again, and then you got to uh -huh. fucking spend an hour having a couple apple teenies, wow, and then really so letting it spread. It's amazing how much you know about gay culture. You know, they always talk about the Mets and <laughs> the spring training. That's that's one of the keys uh, to gay culture. I'm forgetting the name of the spot that I went to. There was actually an article written up about me. The porthole. Oh, no, no we talked about this. That's, that's, for, that's for the boys. That's where the ladies are. Uh, I forget no, we talked about this. this. I forget we talked about this. No, you did a it really nice Bob. job in there. 
Oh yeah. Of I have no access to the chat for some reason. I think the website might be down, so I don't know what they want. So I'm, I can't respond to anybody screaming at us. Good. Get merch. Then I can't even hear them say no. Um, well, Marcus, you love music, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like music. Yeah, but I'm not talking to you. And Henry, you like eight songs of things that happen to fall into the category of music. Marcus actually is a historian <laughs> on music. I like oh, Iron Maiden. I like yeah, Man of War. What else? I like Saxon. I like. How many, okay, just in all of the bands combined, how many not white people can you say? How many not white Are you white counting people? producers and roadies? <laughs> yes. You know what? Sure. I'd say with roadies, there's at least three black people in there. All right. All right. Um, but Johnny Rotten, of course, he started the punk scene. He was a big time dude. No, and I mean, that's, no, that's not did true not at start, all. But, no. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> I'm, about to, I'm about to fly across country and pop you in the nose. Yeah, if Whatever you want, it we, was. If you want, we did do uh, eight hours on The Damned, which is, you know, a, a pretty good history of the British punk scene. And that gives you a good overview of it. But I, I get your sentiment, I love... and I appreciate you reaching out to me. I, I really feel appreciate like it. I am, sp I am with a father struggling to understand his teenage son. <laughs> it's like, I'm just, okay, Johnny Rotten. He was in a punk band. That yeah, he was. Band. Absolutely. That was good. Yes. Yeah, he was in the second. That singer. is correct. He was in a rock, a rock and roll. It was kind of rock and roll, too. But now he doesn't like rock and roll. Anyway, there's a person that died that he knew. Do we know who that person was? <laughs> Many of them. Most of them, probably. No, Quite a bit the of most Sid, famous Are you talking one? about maybe Sid Vicious? Sid, Sid Vicious died. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. this is Johnny Rotten. A lot of people say, where is he now? You know how everyone's always saying that. Where is Johnny Rotten mm -hmm. now? I know this exactly where he is now, but. Okay, well, I, that's why. That's why. Uh, <laughs> that is why uh, I listen to that show because I love to feel. I just love to feel you yelling and lecturing at me there. <laughs> um, so this is Johnny Rotten talking about Sid Vicious, and perhaps he introduced him to Nancy, and then so in a roundabout way, Johnny Rotten uh, killed Sid Vicious. But also, just look at him now. <laughs> The short, violent life of a young man known as Sid Vicious, a British punk rock star, is over. He was charged with knifing his girlfriend to death last fall, and his death came as he was apparently celebrating his release from jail on bond. But we understand the catalyst for the celebration was heroin. <laughs> heroin. That's Johnny Rotten. Wow. Oh. Kills them all, you know. And this Nancy taught him all of this, and... He was too young and dumb to know any different. He looks like Ann Cooper. The biggest joke of all was Sid would never have hooked up with a girl like Nancy unless I introduced her to him. <laughs> he looks like Wallace from Wallace and Gromit. Which I do. <laughs> and so I take some really serious sense of responsibility in Sid's demise because of that. He kind of likes it, though. Kind of. I miss my friends. <laughs> oh, God, he's smoking like he found that fucking cigarette at a bus stop. <laughs> anyway, I just... And then I'm funny just, at all. It's very I, tragic. It's a very it's sad. Story. It's extremely sad, especially like... But if you look at him, but if you look at him, and then he's like, I miss my friends. It's just sad, but it's also so funny. You're going to look the same way. No, I You're gonna look, be I look like it now. Yeah. But no, but I was never thin and attractive. That's the thing. It's not about <laughs> it's not about how bad you look when you're old if you always didn't look good. Like so See, he looked different. great and now he is like that. Now maybe he's gone through chemo. I actually don't know. But that's no, his wife. Uh, yeah. Well, no, his wife has uh yeah, she has um she's lost her mind through Alzheimer's. And he's also having a pretty hard time raising Ari up's kids cuz she died of cancer too a few years ago. I miss hey, so my look friends. at the fucking what you just <laughs> opened up. <laughs> Look at what you just started. I miss my friends. It's just like funny. It, to he me. does miss his friends. They all they're all dead. Yeah, but a he, lot of them died. I yeah. mean, he introduced him to Nancy, and then he laughed about it. So I do think that he enjoyed that. I think that he doesn't miss his friends that much. Well, to be honest with you, he is I think a he famous young. Johnny Rotten is a famous Reek raconteur, so he does like to make people frown. Yeah, he hates people. He he likes to make them miserable. That was his entire life, his whole career. I listen. His to name is entire... Johnny Rotten. <laughs> well, his name is like Steve Pickle or something. You know, yeah, his, his, name's name John, is, his name's John Lydon. Yeah, John Lydon. His name Super is John Lydon. Yeah, his name's like yeah. Nigel Ferrybottom. You're thinking of uh, Sid Vicious. Sid Vicious's real name is uh, Clementine. Uh, Simon, uh, Simon Ritchie. <laughs> is he not? I know this is obviously not all British people are exactly the same, but is he, is he like related to Guy Ritchie? 
No. Not, not a bad question, though, if you think about last names and how they work. I mean, they're all British. Yeah, yeah they're, they're all, that is true. British. That is true. We all, uh, I am of British descent, and we all do kind of look the same. I understand. It's all your, uh, it's your sallow skin, and it's your um, right, a conquistador's attitude. The I miss my friends. He does miss his friends. They're all dead. Debbie Harry is alive. Yeah, yeah. exactly. He also doesn't have any friends, and he never had any friends because he's a raging asshole. I mean, he had bandmates. Yeah, he does yeah. not. Who was a yeah, friend? Yeah. The, uh, most Bandmates of the members of public, uh, the members of Public Image Limited. Uh, yeah, Public Image wife. Limited was when he kind of revamped up, and he got married a couple times. What yeah. was Public Image Limited, Henry? What song did they sing? They sang, um, "This is all more beautiful night." <laughs> you know what song I'm talking about, though, right? Uh, that's uh, that's you're thinking of uh, Talking Heads. No, uh, no, 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 no. You're thinking of I could be wrong. I could, I could be right. I could be right. I could be right. Yeah, yeah that's rise. Yeah, yeah. That, he got it. Yeah, yeah. He got it. That's pretty good. I'll give him that. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. I, you know, I'm pretty anyway, with it. I know was... what the kids like. <laughs> I'm always connected into youth culture. Wet ass pussy. No dry ass pussy. No dry ass pussy. Dap does not have the same ring to it. Dry ass pussy, indeed. Henry's wife is calling him during the stream here. Yes, but... yes. I, have, I was just like, I don't know what was happening. I just have, I but Nat Natalie right behind the screen, like literally, like looking for something like this on either side. You want to say hello, Natalie? Come say hello to the Come stream. Say hello, Natalie. We're live now. We're, we're, this is, you're talking to hundreds of people, Natalie. Hundreds of people. Hi, Natalie. Good Hi, Natalie. Good to see you. I thought you were looking for Wendy. Check your Oh, your butt Mac crack. cord? Well, now it's gone. Yeah, check my butt crack. Check your butt crack. <laughs> you're right. the only one that let it slide into. Oh, shit. That was a story I forgot to read on the fucking side story. Say, we'll talk about it. What? What? I'm also it's not a hundred. Gonna... I'm also not 100% sure we're broadcasting right now because the Adult Swim website is down. Well, I'll find out. <laughs> yep. I mean, you know, I'll tell you what, I haven't received any angry texts, and I haven't seen anybody screaming or anything. Let me look at this. No, we're look live. At Twitter. We're live. No, oh, we're, we're live. live. All right. All right. We're, we're live. live. All right, well, All right. let's do, remember when we were talking in the Jody Arias um, series about uh, The Office? Yeah. How sure. funny is that show? Yeah. I actually, this is just you not quick. fucking, no, don't, I'm do, do not. What? What? Are you just going to play a bunch of Office fucking highlights that were at my fucking <laughs> aunt's house? <laughs> okay. no, buddy. Yo, sh go shave your perineum and put on your little, uh, your, your butter thing, and we'll, by the time it's done, this is 30 seconds. Perineum. Perineum. Oh, no, oh, fucking, uh, fucking titties has been hitting me with his perineum for the last, it's like. Perineum. He does know I that. fucking, honestly, I have a full on. You want to show it? You're going to show it? No, I don't want anybody to see that. That okay. has to be, that's only for my doctor. Yeah, that's a good point. It's a the horrible, door. crooked ravine. It looks like fucking, you could just see Luke Skywalker flying in between all the cracks inside of it, trying to shoot up inside of my fucking asshole. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, that'd be a good sperm to get. Um, no, this is just a 30-second clip of a dude named Creed on, um, on, on The Office. He does something funny. So we're watching this. That's your man, man. We're going to enjoy it. We're just watching a nice PG clip. That's fucking great. We could be sued for this. No, we can't be. It's literally 30 seconds. Provoke you. He will inspire Sorry. you. He is Creed Bratton. See? It's getting funny. Two eyes, two ears, <laughs> a chin, a mouth, ten fingers, <laughs> two nipples, a butt, two kneecaps, a penis. I have just described to you the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> You can Honestly, tell me. it is a funny bit. He's the funniest character. You legitimately tell me that's not funny. No, of funny course bet. it's funny. It's it's funny he's bet. the funniest yeah. character on the whole show besides the other big fat guy. I was just trying to do some outreach because we did get some responses from people. We were making fun of The Office, and I did get some DMs on my Insta that people really like The Office, and they said, you do Yeah, a little people like The Office. It's Why one of the biggest I comedy it's ever been. Why yeah, do they many feel people. the need to send you a DM telling because you Because people like The Office, and so I was like, did I'll you respond find, to I'll go find a clip. Wait a second. Is, is, that what's, is that what's in the DMs? Is yeah, that this what is I'm my doing? question. What do you think? This is my DMs? question. <laughs> Kissel, know. is this like a fucking reach out for help? Like what they did no. with Britney with Instagram. But they said Britney show things on the on the stream to say if you need if you need help out, if there are ways no. to get out of it. Are you in a conservatorship? No one wants me in their house. 
You imagine my father <laughs> trying to keep me under lock and key. I invited really you to the house. That? They booted me out of that house immediately. Well, that's just because of how much food you consumed every yeah, night. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, so I just thought that was kind of fun, though. It you act like fun. you are acting <laughs> insulted. You are acting insulted by your by our reactions to it. That it you was knew. truly funny. You knew we were going to have these reactions. No, I when... thought you could have a heart, and I thought you could laugh at a nice PG <laughs> woman in a television sitcom that went, yes, it's a little mainstream, but think about the Emmys and how well it did. <laughs> you know what? Pharrell's character. You know what? I think about the Emmys all the fucking time. All right. Well... There's a blank space for one. I think about it all the time with a blank space, the hole that it could it could it could go into. You can get an Emmy, buddy. It's still in the cards. It's yeah, I mean, I could break into fucking I could break into Steve Carell's house. <laughs> I could steal a fucking Emmy from there. Um, all right. Well, let's see here. I don't know. Let's just show ben, this. Ben, you're getting a lot of uh, in the chat. So oh, you get the chat. I, I do have the chat. Oh, look at oh, that. that. On my app, on my Adult Swim oh, app. Oh, he's pretty Oh, cool. it's pretty on cool. the app. Oh, yeah, you have an the app, app for that. It's, uh, do they have? App. Wait, does Adult Swim of... have a? Does Adult Swim have a thing where the app can connect to a patch that goes up in your perineum <laughs> to make sure that you don't come? That's where I. Fast? I mean, that's where I keep it. Uh, right in, right in the. Per, uh, the how would you guys the per, I, perineum? Man, I just, I am. I, there's only so much I can learn. Uh, but I yeah. just wanted to say that uh, Ben, your 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 side part, your emo side part, is giving. Um, it's getting a lot of love in the chat. I can't believe it's it great. On my face. Y you look like uh, you look like you're in the band Spill Canvas or something. Yeah, I love Spill Canvas. <laughs> Spill. I feel like, oh, you know what I am? You know what I feel like? Zippity <laughs> boppity, zippity boppity, boop. <laughs> Remember that? That is frightening. Remember that? What was that movie? Zippity boppity, zippity boppity, boop. Remember that? Oh, you're thinking the of tune. um. Bed knobs and broomsticks? No, you with frickin' dick. No, I'm no, it's a cartoon. Yes, I No, it's the one with the witch and she turns the guy into the other It's the wizard movie. It's the wizard movie with the squirrels that are fucking. Yeah. And it was like uh, boop. The squirrels are oh, fucking in the of, movie. Are you think you, he's <laughs> This is the he's thinking of Cin he's thinking of Cinderella. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, 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 you're not. no, no. I know what he's talking about. Sword in the stone. Sword, Sword in the stone. In the stone. That is that. I guess that's kind of a wizard movie. Yeah, it's yeah. a wizard movie. He's the wizard. He can pull the stone out. Of, he can pull. He can pull the sword. Out of the stone. Remember. If he goes and just gets the stone, it's like he leaves the sword and brings the stone. He's like, I think I did it. It's like you want. You want the sword. But. No, that's the Ben Kissel story. This ah. is. The, he is a. Um, that's King Arthur. That's the story of the birth of King Arthur. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Totally accurate. Well, let's see here. Let's just. You. Can, you are doing this. And you <laughs> are bringing it up. No, I didn't do Let's just watch this wrestling video really quick just to clear the palate so these guys don't think I'm a puss. Because apparently The Office isn't like, it's not edgy enough for my edgelords. I didn't say I anything. I didn't even say anything. <laughs> I didn't even say anything. I said nothing at all. I said it was funny. No, Marcus, you were supportive and thank you for that. It wasn't Iron sure. Maiden enough for Henry. <laughs> <laughs> Iron Maiden, they're all 68. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's just watch this wrestling video. This is this is like a death match, no rules wrestling. It's like ten seconds long, but it's just kind of fun to to see people get hit with a chair and stuff like that. <laughs> he flicks him off there, and then look at that. Whoa. There it is. That's the whole video. Yep. Is this new death match wrestling? Yeah, this is pretty new. Now he's just covered it. Now he's just in a bunch of uh, razor wire there and. Anyway, there was just that. That's just a little palate cleanser there, so we don't have to <laughs> we don't have to think about the office anymore. And I don't know if I don't know if that one guy is ever gonna fall in love with that one girl who likes that other guy, but maybe it worked out. They so. do it in like the fifth season. I think it worked out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Seems like it worked out. And then John Krasinski stole the sold the literal concept of good news. <laughs> Twenty million dollars. It was good news good. for him. I have not heard of that show. It has not been anywhere. No, it's in production. What is it? How hard is it to produce? It's a podcast about good news. Oh, no, no, no. Now it's like becoming a television show. Oh, isn't that funny? Yeah. That happens I mean, but yeah, but Ben, we need good news in these difficult times. Do Think we? about these I difficult mean, times. I mean, oftentimes good news is just full of lies. Well, and if you really laugh at things like, I miss my friends, everything's funny. That is true. In the I end, you just friends. have to, your brain just have to make it so that you find sad things funny. Yeah, it's, it's because of the deep-seated trauma we've all suffered. 
All right, let's do this guy here. This is this is Marcus. Okay, I, I'm just going to direct everything towards Marcus because I see Henry now too much, and I need my I need Marcus. Okay, because <laughs> it's also about music. And uh, Marcus, do you? Know I like George? music. Yeah. Do you know George Jones, Marcus? Yeah, very familiar with George know Jones. Just listening okay. to him earlier today. Yeah. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> I don't know how to host these shows. Um, <laughs> did you know? Did you know that he used to get hammered and quack like a duck? Yeah. You knew that. Okay. Well, yeah. let's show this video. <laughs> That's why it's always yeah. better for you to say it to me because he knows the stuff and he won't be surprised yeah. or, or treasure these want, things. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I read Daddy George Jones' like uh, autobiography. It's great. You should read it sometime. Much yeah. better than Cash by Johnny Cash. Oh, Cash by Johnny Cash was a little bit of a whitewash. He never talked about having sex with June Carter's sister. Which well, did. honestly, a Cash by Johnny Cash is glorified liner notes, but that's just yeah. me. That's No, I, I actually There's agree. a lot of like fucking it. tea being spilt around here about <laughs> stuff from 40 years ago. <laughs> anyway, let's watch this little animated thing on George Jones. This guy, he is one of those lives that is so much better in hindsight, and it's mm -hmm. so much more fun to hear about it because if you lived it, it sounded like a waking nightmare. Yeah. So this is him. He used to get into fights with a duck that he created in his mind and an old man. Yep. And uh, this is just a couple of those stories. By then, he'd begun playing music again with his only connection to Tammy, the Jones boys. George would, would jerk out a, uh, a bag of cocaine there. and then You he watch the show? This is one of the best shows in the world. Tales on the Road by Mike This Judge. newfound yes. high apparently caused some kind of psychotic break in George which led to multiple personalities. Well, two personalities, the duck and the old man. The duck came first, yeah. And the old man came later so he'd have somebody to talk to. He'd sat up all night long, sitting in there in the bed, and he would be talking in the Donald Duck voice. When he'd get in a car and he was drinking, he would talk like Donald Duck. Then he'd talk like the old man. I don't believe it, it ain't natural. And then they'd get in a fight, and then he'd get it between them. And he wouldn't be paying no attention where he was going. You know, George had a lot of wrecks. I am gonna fucking do we this. Is gonna happen. On to me. the bus going down the road and the band. This story is so he insane. He decided he won't get rid of the duck, so he kicked him off the bus. And he went on down the road a while, and he got to worrying about it. He done kicked the duck off the bus, and it was his best friend. So he made the driver turn around and go back and pick up the duck, put him back on the bus. <laughs> I wish I was a musician. That's I feel like musicians we, can we, get away with this. Ourselves. Boys, we've got to do something with him. You know, we can't go on with you uh, being so distraught over Tammy and you can't even perform. And we convinced him that he should sign up with Tammy just so he could be back somewhere in association with her. Great solution. Great solution. So there you oh. go. He kicked the duck off of the bus and then he felt so bad he had to go get the duck back. Of course, but there's no duck. You so should anyway. really... You should really le read uh, I Live to Tell It All. It's his, uh, it's his autobiography. It's some of the most insane music stories I've ever heard. Like there was one story where he uh, started firing off his revolver in the tour bus as oh it was moving. God. And then to make it all better, he went out to the first aid kit and got Band-Aids and put Band-Aids over all the fucking bullet holes. See? That's hilarious. You make it all, and all better. But the thing is, again, <laughs> you're right. It's so funny is that afterwards, I mean, these stories are fucking hoot. But the problem is, is that when you have a man who is the band leader, who is completely in charge of the entire operation, talking in a duck voice the entire time, and you have to, like, probably seriously be like, no, George, we really need to speak like this. And he's just still, like, doing the duck voice. I can't do the joy. I can't do no, a Donald it's Duck. Really, it's a <laughs> Whoa, Ooh, it's it 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 talent. It's the Hidden Talent Show. <laughs> Listen to the rage in that duck voice. Uh, yeah, fuck yeah. That's like a new metal duck, dude. Oh, yeah, I'm Travis. I'm going to hire you for my next birthday. You <laughs> fucking show up. Dude. That's your new business, Travis. That's your new quarantine business. Oh, the duck business. We're getting into the duck biz. Good job, Travis. Very talented in many ways. Many, many ways. Uh, it's just hard when you do. Buy our merch. Well, I can I imagine the same levels like kind of dealing with the Kanye up to some oh. point where you have to deal with somebody who's gen genuinely going through a total personal meltdown and is totally in charge. Wait till Maybe. titties, you wait till you'll experience it. I, it's really gonna be it's gonna be interesting. And then you can write your book. Maybe though, I feel like 
Yes, George Jones. The biggest problem, from my understanding of the uh, stories that I've heard, is he did not know how to perform anymore. That yeah. was the biggest problem. So there was actually songs like No Show Jones that yeah. uh, Merle Haggard wrote. Like, it was, like, notorious. So I think that's – Is it just stage fight? On sta- was it like with Adele? Adele? Drugs. He yeah, was drugs drugged out, out, bro. Yeah. He Real was, like – problems. He, his bandmates must have been more pissed than, like, what? Uh, what's the band? Modest Mouse. Like, that yeah. guy has a bit of a – he, he drinks he, a bit of a – he made, is not good. I said when I saw them live, it was like the same thing where he was just so hammered that he couldn't perform. That's sad. You just yeah, gotta get, get drunk after. Get drunk after. Or you just have a little bit of drink. The whole point is you just want the country to get a little bit easier down the things. Yeah. Well, sometimes I'll take a little bit of that country blub, make us all your fingers nice and spin, especially when you're trying to get them all all up inside Bessie May's dress. Oh my. George Jones um, once got a DWI on a riding lawnmower, classic. and then his next uh, music video was just a single shot of him riding on a riding lawnmower. That's so hilarious. Song. But that, when mean, did he come back into performing? When did he figure out how to do it again? I think it was like in the mid-90s, early to mid-90s, something like Damn. that. He was He's dead, up. right? He what? Oh, yeah. He died yeah, recently, he did, yeah. though. Yeah, he like, uh, like 2013. He died in uh, 2013. Wasn't he in his 70s? Like, he lived, right? He was old. Bur- Real yeah, old. Like a, somehow, something was in the water back then. But that was Maybe one of my favorite stories. Wasn't... Even though Bill Murray is, Bill Murray, is the, my, one of my favorite stories is also with him being caught drunk in the fucking golf cart. Oh, yeah, that's just fun. That's fun that's, as hell. Yeah, he got, his, he got his Dewey. And then, of course, you can always watch George Jones get arrested as well. It's quite funny. Um, and, uh, you know, he was a celebrity, and thank God for it, because otherwise the cops would have beat the living hell out of him. Uh, but, you know. Um, all right. Well, we all love chips, and who doesn't love spicy stuff as well? Oh, those kind uh, of chips. Oh, yeah, I like the, chips. The one... Oh, you're talking about poker chips. No, I thought you were talking chips. about the TV show tips. No. I'm, no. <laughs> but I'm talking about There's chips. many chips. <laughs> There's yeah, so but... many different types of chips. Do we say everybody loves chips? I mean, yes, I was with you. I like a barbecue chip. Um, chips hasn't been out since 1978, so no. And then poker chip, I would have said poker chips. Kissel, can I just say, is it not fair for Marcus to maybe consider that you were referring to the television show Chips? You did just move to California. You, it might be on your mind, California and I know, Highway Patrol. I know how much you like Eric Estrada. <laughs> I do like Eric Estrada. Uh, no, this is potato chips. But uh, you know that the, the one chip challenge, right? You've, you guys have heard of that, right? With the death, with the Pacquiao chip, Pacquiao chip. Have no one, is it, have you not heard about this? Uh-uh. You have not heard about this. Henry, nope. have you heard about this? Okay. Is so it called, is called a, the one chip challenge? The one chip challenge. This Is Is a, this new? Is this with kids or is this from a while ago? It's like, it's modern-ish. It's modern-ish. There's some, I can't know every it's, fad, man. I can't not, know every fad. Anyway, morning news. Is this like a good. dance? It's a, no, it's a super spicy chip. It's the spiciest chip in the world. It's a ghost reaper pepper. And news people. Ghost reaper? No, it's. Get out of here! No, I know that. <laughs> this, is not, this is not some bizarre ghost hunter show um, starring Bill Cosby. This is about the chip. This is a spicy chip. And television news networks would eat it on air as like a challenge, but they didn't realize how hot it is. So let's just show a couple of these. Wait, I might have challenges. I might have known this. Yeah, it's it's kind of famous. You'll see. This is a tie pot. Friend of mine's idea. Tie pot. Uh huh. She had one of these, and she goes, "Would you like to do the one chip challenge?" What she say about it? Do they come she individually wrapped like this? They do. Yeah. What's There's one, chip. one challenge. So, so, yeah. What is the one chip challenge? We are putting. This, this is a dream job, chip. man. Versus it's a challenge. Any Look last at these words? people you have to hang out with. Okay. Before you it's made with ghost pepper. I know, but most of them are railed up in cocaine and have a fucking butt plug up in their ass. You know what I mean? Like they're all completely, totally insane. Exactly what we're gonna get. What is this? Subjects can expect short-term loss of speech, followed by extreme profanity, heavy breathing, voice. enhanced sinus functions, <laughs> oh and impaired Lord. vision from heat-induced tears. They, have no idea they don't know what and they're in for, huh? We're going to eat this. Uh, These guys. So wake words. up, Dad. By the way, the the show. Er- er- Ernie saw this packaging, and it wasn't quite sure it was a tortilla chip. <laughs> 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 it's uh, <laughs> was like a really good morning. I truly don't enjoy the way morning shows are titled as if they're screaming at me. No, no, no. Detroit. We don't have All right, here we go. All right, so here we go. By the way, we're all doing this. Who's doing yours? Where's yours? Don't take your time. This guy's a bitch, by the way. The guy to the left, he doesn't actually take it. He just don't. 
Oh no, yeah, it's that makes sense. That's what I would do. A one chip challenge. What's wrong? Stick that oh my God! Stop on. with the Come cell phones. You're on TV. They, they no, are just eating on. time. This is obviously in a time period okay, where they're a little. Hold on, hold on. Oh come on, you guys are overreacting. Oh, <laughs> hold on. Did you eat the whole chip? Who yeah, I had the whole chip. That's why it's called a chip challenge. Oh, you look oh. fine. I've got hiccups now. Wife. I get hiccups oh. when I eat something hot. Uh oh. Hold I, on. I got. Okay. I gotta go home. Oh, here's a good thing. There's only ten calories. Oh, Natalie's losing. She just fucking oh, throw up. Oh, Natalie threw up. Oh. <laughs> this is going very poorly, folks. <laughs> Natalie <laughs> threw up. Natalie <laughs> threw up. She's got you're, you're, you're a doctor. Get down here. <laughs> all right, let's go to break. Oh, look at that. Look at that. They get all the fucking all here. Look at this guy, <laughs> the stage manager. We'll right but back. it's like she's serious. Oh, woman's oh, having dead. convulsions yeah, behind the desk. She literally, you can't die from that. Natalie threw up. Up. Oh, look at that. But, like, still in the voice of, like, we're having a good time. And Natalie is having a seizure. <laughs> you know, there was a guy that died. I forget what it was. There yeah, was, dude. Forget, uh, what's his name? I forget what the hell. It was, like, I want to say he was eating a Carolina Reaper, and he burnt a hole in his fucking esophagus. It's like, it was, it was bad. I was watching the hot challenges on YouTube. Those people are freaking crazy, dude. You yes. can die. It's very dangerous. Um, anyway. Do you remember how close you came with the seppuku wings? Holy! They hell. probably made it so you could never have that kind of spice ever again. I imagine. I'll never I remember. Eat that again. Yeah, you. The what happened to you during that time period? I don't know if you can oh. eat that kind of spice ever again. Laura, my girlfriend at the time, was very sweet. As I sh like in the fetal position, cried. As you feel the heat, it's like, it's like straight up. Reaper hot sauce going through your intestines. You can feel your entire yes. tube. You can feel the whole tubes in your body. Woo, that was bad. And all Tim Dean, our friend Tim Dean, only ate one. I ate 12. And they they took my freaking picture down because I went and I accosted the man versus food guy. So they took my picture down because I yelled at him, ruined his shoot. So I didn't even get any representation on the wall. Uh, I mean, I did 12. That place closed now. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it does. It, there's no point to do that. And then Cap, our other friend, lost all the footage. So, no point to no point to doing the challenge, or no point to going and yelling at the man versus food guy. There's always a point to yell at Adam Rich. I am a scam artist. I will fucking back up Kissel. I will fucking if I he see. I technically we all have a standing rule that if we see Adam Richmond in in public in any way, shape, or form, I have to go. You screwed my buddy Kissel. Like I have yeah, to get him to be like, I know what you did. The all of Brooklyn in 2011 race. knows what you did. We all were there. We all saw what happened. And I tell you what, you bald fuck. Give me ten dollars. Yep. Give me ten dollars. <laughs> Give me ten dollars, cause now I'm gonna say, "Oh no, he's touching me! He's touching me!" But give me twenty dollars. <laughs> I went up. It went up. Oh wow. no, he's touching oh. me! He's touching wow. me! Yeah, I love that concept for a Shark Tank pitch. If you just go in and be like, "I'm going to accuse all of you of uh, touching me if you don't give me a million dollars," and then they're like, "Okay." And no. then what happens is that because I've been fingering myself in the butthole, I show physical evidence. Yes, all over your finger. Um, what happened with Adam Richmond is he did not do the 12 super coup wing challenge, which was with the, the traditional challenge. He made it six suicide wings, which are just kind of hot. And yeah. he only ate two of them. And he had this crowd. I don't, I also watched the new man versus food. Food always wins. I don't mind the new man versus food. It is what it is. He's, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Got red hair, but then right? you have to go, oh, Mr. Richmond, he's touching me. <laughs> yes, Mr. Richmond's to touching me. All right, well, let's watch one more one ship challenge. This one's a little bit shorter, though, but uh, you know, it's something similar. You guys will see. It's exactly the same as what you mean. Yeah, it'll be similar, yeah. Mm. But this one is kind of funnier. Oh, wow. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I do like watching oh, them like physically them. uncomfortable. Oh, yeah, it hurts. You all right there, buddy? <laughs> <clears throat> mm -hmm. You okay? Mm -hmm. You need some water? <clears throat> You're Maybe not gonna win. You want wow, to finger licking good. Yeah, that was great. She's a, she's a star, by the way. Jim, oh yeah, nothing. she's just sitting right in it. She's gonna give a fuck. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, the hot, oh, hottest thing that this man has ever had is literally like no pepper sweat. from a restaurant, uh -huh. like <laughs> table pepper. <laughs> 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 this is a let watch it. There is milk there. <laughs> Can we get oh. a close up on his eyes? Oh my god. <laughs> I should also say, to be fair, Jim. Did you eat this? Oh my God, yes. you did. I'm Ethiopian. My family is African. So I've been eating hot sauce since I was a baby. This isn't affecting you. <laughs> did you see the dirty oh, man, look? He is fucking dying, Jim, it's okay. There's no shame. 
Oh, but that, oh, that. <clears throat> oh, oh, it's affecting you. Oh, well, I'm fine. It's just, it's, it's spicy. It's hot. She is very composed. You can just give up now and drink some milk. Mm-mm. <laughs> You're He's literally have... sweating, Jim. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> He's legitimately going to have the most painful diarrhea he's ever had in his whole life. Can we get a medic in here for Jim? I love that he's dropped all three times. He doesn't even know he's on camera anymore. This. Now this man's kind of pain excited. is funny. I like his pain. Jim did it for the job. <laughs> How long have we been doing this for? Three minutes. Three minutes. And oh. it's starting to subside. It's actually starting to get less intense. So do you think I'll get on this wall of infamy? What do I need to do to, to let them know that what I did this, this thing? Ugh. I am triumphant. <laughs> Jim? Uh-huh. Are we okay, buddy? Uh-huh. My lips are on fire. He's still, he is not okay. This Man, is they not did this for five minutes on air. Um, at first, initially, oh yeah, like my nose was like a little runny. But I'm okay now. So you know how I've been training for my marathon for I'm a year? I'm sick of hearing about your marathon. Yeah. Well, I've been training for about a year. I have been training for this moment all my life. Oh. I have been eating pepper since I was a baby. It's Make true. it stop. You look good, though, Jim. Try glistening, basking. I mean, someone's, that's the thing, dude. Someone's got to be talking. All right. He's done. So, can you just say that one? You didn't win. He didn't drink the milk, I but I clearly won. You why, let, why, why, why? You let us know no, what no, you no. think. No, no, no. Oh my god, I think I'm having a heart attack. All right, I, I can't. I'm gonna, uh. All right, well, oh, that's wow. not fair. It would be kind of hard to think I'm doing damage like, to my digestive system. It's fine. <laughs> I could watch this man being in pain all day. He's <laughs> fucking, oh my god! <laughs> he goes and throws oh my god. I bet you he got fired or some shit. That's like one of those things where you just never... <sighs> You never fully come back. Like, if you have to be no. a, an actual serious news anchor, that's such a hard thing to come back from. Yes. No. All right. Well, that was pretty lighthearted. Let's watch something that is in the minds of children all over the world, all over the country. Siren Head. So this is just a little fun video. It's kind of strange. It's Siren Head versus we Lighthead. Been, we've been talking Siren Head a little bit on Side Stories because yes. it's the new Slender Man with the kids. It is everywhere on YouTube. Have you heard of Siren that's Head, fun. Marcus? No, it's, I haven't. I'm looking it up right now. It looks fun. I it's the new no Slender Man, but I don't know if it has the same catch character. Like, I don't know if it has the same, like, make people as scared as Slender Man Dude, did there as are kids. Hundreds of videos of Siren Man or Siren Head, and this is one video. I think it's pretty creepy. I really do. Make sure you like and subscribe. Otherwise, Siren Head comes to your house. <laughs> uh, it's cool, though, right? That's fun. <laughs> and that's that's a uh, lighthead. Yeah. This guy just wants you to subscribe, and he shows his dance video. Yeah. It's pretty cool. That's, that's cool. Fun. Yep. Creature spotted in the city or on the city, whichever. Breaking news. Breaking news. It's just, I didn't expect it to be as cool as it is. No, that's cool. It's a... I feel like I'm, st I'm in this, I mean, this is a good way. I feel like I'm being forced by my little cousins to watch videos that they have on their tablets. Dude, look at this, though. Look at that. Siren Head in the background. That's, ah! that's just a windmill. There's Siren Head. Yeah, those are windmills. Okay, guys, oh. the sun is shining, but I see a star, and this star is very big. Uh oh. But well, I think see. this star will explode, and I don't. Maybe. I don't even know. Whoa! Damn it! He exploded, man. <laughs> is this just one video, or did you edit all this together? No, this is just one video. I don't know why it doesn't work. Yeah, what is this video of just a person asleep? This is the guy. He's about to get messed up here by Siren Head. So it's going to get pretty scary. There he is! It's just a horrible alarm clock, really. Yeah, it's a terrible alarm clock. I wouldn't want him following me around. Look at that thing. It's paranormal. That's, That's cool. Definitely, and it's super real, because you can see it. Yep. You can see it with your own two eyes. That's real. 
right there. That's pretty cool, right? That's, that's cool. Pretty... That's cool with it. I'm <laughs> yeah, cool. I'm, I that's... think it's cool. It's pretty cool. Solid. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I like. That's fine. Like. I, I like. definitely would put like. that solidly in the category of like. Wow. Yeah, I like it. So, Look at like that. He's video, the video, please subscribe on the channel. And I see Sirenet. He's attacking the hotel. What the hell is he doing? What's he doing? Oh, bye. He's got a oh, real explosion. Hey, okay, that's it. See? Oh, How entertaining God. that was. Whoa, it's another explosion. Ah. Siren Head does not mess around with these explosions. He I really volunteer. Doesn't. I volunteered for a long time with emotionally handicapped kids. Wow. Right? The idea is that the kids that used to fly off the handle emotionally right. in any given time. That, but... And I sort of feel like I'm it's being held hostage guys. in the same way. <laughs> that they you don't would think hold that this is hostage. immensely entertaining? He's punching the buildings. It's real fun, and they're explo. Ooh, that's a big explosion. That's a big explosion. It's still there. Uh, you know what I wish that I would have <laughs> liked is you know what I like. Remember the game Rampage? Yeah, yeah I love Rampage. Like and subscribe. That Otherwise, would be cool. There we that's go. All right, that's enough on Siren Head. Is there not like that would be cool to have a game where you played as Slender Man? Yeah, I think they actually tried to make one. Um, and it did not work. I'm but it's more its more of an RPG where you're trying to sexually seduce proxies. Yeah, mm. it could be. I mean, he is a sexual character. Siren Head versus uh, Lighthead versus Slender Man could be a movie. I'm going to take Siren Head. I'm new to the game, so I'm a little bit enthusiastic maybe. But I think Siren Head is more aggressive than Slender Man. I don't know how I mean, Siren Head has more muscles. And he's, I didn't realize the sirens are actually teeth. Those are mouths. Those are mouths. And, but I don't know how he sees so maybe it's more of like a daredevil type thing. Echolation. It's echolation. Yes. <laughs> yes, because yep. that's how like daredevil sees. Daredevil sees with echolation and his faith in Catholicism. <laughs> yep. 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 Yes, indeed. By this the is way, great. I rewatched Batman vs Superman. My friend Rocco said that Batman Ben Affleck is the best Batman, and after rewatching Superman vs Batman, I can see it. I think Ben Affleck actually did a good job as Batman, not as Bruce Wayne. You yeah, are... but Rocco says that because Ben Affleck looks great in the Batman costume. Yeah, and Rocco's yeah. a cosplayer, that's, and he also has like a, an obsession. He likes the he likes Ben Affleck's body. Well, he has a similar body because Ben Affleck proves you don't have to have the best body to make it big. <laughs> <laughs> he they, like, they have a very similar body. Yeah, Rocco, I could see him being a big fan of Ben Affleck's Batman. It's yeah. really not that bad. It's really not that bad if you give it a rewatch. Maybe it's, it was because I'll see. I will say when we saw it. Okay. I was like blackout. Yeah. I was hammered. That's I was really, talking really... about the one with Jesse Eisenberg as uh, Lex Luthor. No, I'm talking about the one with uh, where the big monster comes down and then Wonder Woman shows up and uh, Superman's there. Is this Superman a dream? versus Batman? Is this just a dream you had? No, it's, <laughs> it's Superman versus Batman. It was a very no. I know. Movie. No, it it's the, the one. No, Jesse Eisenberg plays Lex Luthor in that movie. I didn't see that. I did. I only watched the end. <laughs> what do you mean you only watched the end? I only was on TV and I only watched the end. And and by your estimation, by only watching the end, Batman's you think Netflix the best Batman. I feel like I just I just, I just feel like I'm at my uncle Kevin's house. I'm at my Kevin, uncle Kevin's house. When you watch, and he, you can't rewind TV. He's just trying not to talk about Gulf War One. Like, he's desperately <laughs> trying to figure out another oh, way to connect to him. He's trying to figure out a way to other things to talk about, things that young people would understand. Anything but what he saw in that tra traumatic three-day war. Oh, Gulf War <laughs> One wasn't that bad. Do you remember Kai the, the hitchhiker? I remember him, yeah. yes. Do you yeah. guys know where Shop. he is now? Prison. I bet you you're just about to show us. <laughs> Marcus, why are you ruining it all? He knows You're asking everything. me questions. I just <laughs> I didn't ask that to you, Marcus. I asked that to the people. I asked that to both of you. You stop directly asking me things, and I don't know half the things that you do. You actually, I would be better for you well, to help tee it up. We're not going to show the video then. Kai is in prison. No. Okay. So, <laughs> that was it. We talked about it on the show. We talked about it on an episode of the show. I I'm remember not sure if that's true. No, it is. We talked on about it on show? a Relax Fit. On last podcast on the left. Do you yeah, remember when that? do we do that? Yeah, when do we do that? Fridays. I don't know, one of the relax. <laughs> yeah, every Friday. No, we talked about it on one of the relax. I remember going through the whole story of what happened to him after the uh, a after he was such a, a viral star. There was a yeah, he murdered whole... somebody. 
Yeah. Yeah, we did a whole thing on it. That's why I know that. Let's watch the video, but fast forward throughout it. <laughs> Let's just see Kai, Whoop, just so you right can see him. With a hatchet, so smash, there's thumb through smash, it. Just thumb through smash. it. He smash. was a viral yeah. sensation. He I'm was. Kai. You can th thumb through here. Straight out of Dogtown, K.A.I. Known as Kai the Hitchhiker, yeah. the Canadian drifter. This is the TV interview that got him noticed in 2013. Uh -huh. He was the hero, coming to the aid of a woman being assaulted. What made you take the actions that you Oh my did? god, fast forward all of this. That woman was you, you can't fast forward. They can't, they my can't name is fast Kai. Kai. Oh, he's obviously looks a little bit better now that he's been This in interview a is taking place in prison. Anyway, he's, he's in prison. He's a convicted killer. Yeah, and this is the first the time he's you. speaking out since his conviction. Is that a Rubik's This situation cube? is hell. How did he end up here? Three months after he appeared on Jimmy Kimmel, Kai hitchhiked across the country and wound up in New York's Times Square, where he met 74-year-old lawyer Joseph Galfi. Oh, How did you no. meet this man, Joseph Galfi? He walked up to me and said, hey, you look lost. Where are you headed? I told him I'm, I'm going over to Jersey and uh, um, he gave me a ride over to his place. He took the man up on his offer and spent two nights at his home. When he claims up, he, he was drugged and then and sexually assaulted. Then he was. said he fought back in self-defense. I sat when I punched him in the face and he was over top of me and he shoved me into the bed and I was trying to get him away from me. I couldn't get him away from me. Kai fled to Philadelphia where he was apprehended four days later. After the beating, did you realize how badly he was injured? No. I just thought I had to get out of there. I, I just I just had to get out of there. When I, when I woke up and he was over top of me, I panicked. Did you know he was dead? I didn't know that he was dead. This man's ear was almost ripped off. His neck was fractured. His face was fractured. <laughs> the ear injury came Christ. from one horizontal <laughs> kick from on my back. That ought to tell you. I was on my back on the floor. But the jury didn't believe he acted in self-defense. If this was self-defense, why didn't you call the police right then and there? I'm an illegal immigrant. They aren't, they, they, they aren't going to investigate. Kai still insists he's innocent and says critical evidence that could have proved he was drugged was ignored and destroyed. He's filing an appeal. In this case, the judge told the jury that the burden was on me to prove intoxication and therefore self-defense and therefore my innocence. Who's the real you, right? Is it is it Kai the Hitchhiker who we saw in this video, the guy who Dumbest saved the question. day, the guy who came to the rescue, or is it Kai the Murderer? Who's the real you? De definitely never Kai the Murderer. I've never murdered anyone. In court, right. the judge called Kai a cunning... There you go. Anyway, so... I'm going to put it this way. I will say this in defense. Yeah. If anybody ever asks me, hey, Henry, who's the real you? The fun-loving, green-haired podcaster man or Henry the Murderer? I'm always going to say... <laughs> Henry the podcaster. I'm always going to yeah. say, no, 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 no. The murderer part of me was just that's fake. A, f a fleeting fancy. Yeah, that's yeah. a fake. That's a fake me. And a, can a fake person commit murder? I don't think so. Anyway, yeah. that's what happened with Kai. That's it, incredibly sad. He yeah, it did so, get sad. He had so much time before that Inside Edition interview to practice his story, and it still seemed like he made it up on the spot. Well, that's that's because he's very good. At it. He's very good at seeming like it's fresh. It's improv. <laughs> that is actually real improv. It's uh, so it's constant. It's called the sense of discovery, and he was finding that and fostering that. But I do find an interesting bookend between your videos, between the incredibly sad um, Johnny Rotten video that you showed, and then this I'm incredibly. <laughs> Both I mean, of these videos just was a piece of shit, but man, it was still his friend. It's, I don't think these they were friends. They were friends. I've studied this. Yeah, but they lie. <laughs> you ask right Marcus there. if he likes music. <laughs> I don't know. And you <laughs> did to, not ask me that out. because like, if you had showed all this to me the first time, I'd go, "Oh, interesting." Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't know he was in jail for beating a man to death and he cruised. <laughs> yeah, he had sex on the board. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that does mean that Kai, he, he was just blowing people to get across the country. There's a lot so, to the Kai story well, I, I don't actually know. like to know. I wouldn't I, go that far. Yeah, I wouldn't oh, go that definitely. far because I've, no, I've been, I was approached once at a Port Authority bus station by a guy. I remember, that was before yeah. we had to go on. We went to our first tour in Washington, D.C. on the bus. Yeah, yep. and Marcus and was 
Cruz, they looked at him like he was literally a midnight cowboy. <laughs> I was hanging out in front of the Art Carney statue that's right outside of Port Authority because that's did where we a, were supposed to meet. You did have a pack of cigarettes rolled up in your sleeve. You yeah. were, um, you had that French I, talk. You had your navel exposed. Yeah. You had bleach blonde tips. All of the things that look like a cruising hitchhiker. Mm -hmm. I did have, I mean, I know I look like the type of guy. I know I look like a type of guy that's hanging out in front of Port Authority at 6 in the morning. He was a cab driver. You do. He just gotten off work. Yep. And he knows that he's he been going for blowy. blow jobs from kids who yep. look lost for many years, but You're I wasn't lost. Adults. I was just worried that Ben wasn't going to show up on time because he was already late. A wizard is never late, nor is he early. A wizard revives exactly when he intends to. It right. never works. It never works. He, honestly, are you quoting? Are you quoting that just because I'm wearing a Lord of the Rings shirt right no, now? No, it's because it's my. I put a meme up. It's a meme. I saw his meme. Mm. I yep. will say, yeah. So I don't think Kai necessarily was doing the blowing. Sometimes yes, somebody wants no. Was. Sometimes people just want to blow you. Mm -hmm. That is okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll that guy, that, that cab point. driver with that cab driver with the gigantic scar on his face, just wanted to blow me. Just. Technically, I was once at Port Authority, and a homeless man came up to me and said he uh, he wanted to come just looking at me. <laughs> hey man, and I tell you what, if does, something doesn't put a smile on your face, that I, I mean, was, I thought it was very sweet. And then he did that the duck sweet. voice, and the guy just <laughs> came right in his pants. Um, you know what he needs is the fucking the patch. Yeah. Because it sounds like he can come far too fast if he can just come all looking at you. He needs to put it on his old teat, the old T word down there. Oh, my. Well, we have only a few minutes left. I do have a little bit of a music video to go out on, but we could watch. Well, Sam Jack, there's a funny video of Sam Jackson. Um, I don't know. It makes a white person uncomfortable. It's kind of funny. Who's um, Sam Jackson? Samuel Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson. Oh, Samuel L. Jackson. The usage of, uh, of the N word in this movie. And, and no, what? nobody, none. The word would be. Oh, I don't want to say it. Why not? I don't like to say it. Have you ever said it? No, sir. Don't Try say it. it. I don't like to say it. Try it. Don't, don't say it. Really? Seriously? We're not going to have this conversation unless you say it. <laughs> you want to move on to another question? Okay. Awesome. Um, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't like I don't want to say oh, it. Come on. Can, will you say it? No, fuck no. It's not the same thing. Why do you want me to They're going to bleep it when you say it on, the, know, on your show. Say it. I can't say it. Don't if I can't. say it, we will discourse it. It. it won't make air. Okay, forget it. Okay, I'll skip it. Sorry, guys. It was a good question. No, it wasn't. It was great. <laughs> I wanted to ask about... Honestly, man, I wish I could... Do, I wish trading places was a real thing. I would love to be black and just go up to white people and just be like, say it. Say it. Say it. Uh, it's very scary. It's also Samuel L. Jackson, who's also just like... He gets the look on his face and he's just like... He's so freaking oh, funny. God. <laughs> that guy was about to shit a brick. He was very, very scared. <laughs> Is he going to be more mad at me if I don't say it? Oh, oh, if man, I do maybe say I have it, to say it. Say it. Can you imagine? It. Can you even fucking imagine just how everything would, how everything would have ended for that man? <laughs> very, very fast. <laughs> it would have been, it would have been rough. Anyway, all right, we only got two more minutes, so let's just go out on our final little video here. This is just cats singing along and having a nice time and. That's all that matters. Have a nice time. Hail yourselves, everyone. This, we'll is, this is how we're ending the show. Yes, it <laughs> it's is. all this fucking thing. My lucky, my oh, my God, Kissel. I feel lucky, like... My lucky, my lucky. Oh, have you become, like... Have you become a weird, like... Account on Twitter from, like, North Africa? <laughs> <laughs> it's just cute. It's funny, it's a cat. I hate the Numa Numa song. You know, I kind of like it. I, it gets stuck in your head, man. You're going to think of it all night when you're microdosing. It's a kangaroo now. Is that a kangaroo? Meerkat. Yeah. Meerkat. What ang- what a- what are- if, where is this song from? I don't know. Italy, right? I have no idea. What do they even say? I think that this is a video that people would call on the internet random. No, this can't be Italian. Uh, it's, uh, it sounds like Belarusian or something. Uh, actually, it comes, uh, the, the original song comes from Moldova. Moldova? 
Yeah. Where half the people that you fought, if you fall in love with 90-day fiance, you're going to end up going to Moldova fiance. Oh, the balls. <laughs> there are the balls. Uh, that was the best. Moldova is the best country. Moldova is the best country in all of uh, Europe. I don't know why I have to come to stupid America when Moldova is best. You just come to Moldova. What I love about Moldova is I was taught to assassinate when I was in elementary school. <laughs> All right. Well, that's Mo Moldovia talk here for the show. Just to end her out with a little Moldovia talk like we always do. Hail yourselves, everyone. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a good Tuesday night. Goodbye. Go Bucks. I'm going to go you hamburger. Hamburger. Hamburger.